Hey guys, what's going on? I'm constantly scouring the web for tutorials that I can share with my viewers. Most tutorials are in Maya or 3ds Max, and I like to look for certain models that have been modeled in other applications, and I like to give them with my triad and moto. But I don't like to get too complicated with my model. I like to try to find models that are, you know, slightly detailed, but not too detailed to make it too hard on people who are learning Moto. And, you know, I was asking all the uh, good websites from, you know, Turbo Squid to Digital Tutors. And, um, I mean, I'm not a member or nothing of these sites, but sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll look at through their free stuff and, and and see if I see anything that catches my eye. And on Digital Tutors, if you're a 3DS Max user, they have a great tutorial on building a reactor. Okay, like a cartoonish looking reactor. And like I say, I'm not a member of their monthly service, but I've seen a picture of this great little cartoonish reactor, and we're going to try and duplicate it inside of uh, Moto. So if we go over here and go to my preview, we'll see the one I modeled here. And this is what we're going for okay this is the look we're going for it might not look exactly like this but um we're going to go for this roundabout look because every time i model something it ends up looking different than the last time i modeled it okay so the first thing we're going to start with is this little middle section here this body this middle body here now i went through and added the colors afterwards um, via materials and stuff so don't worry about that i just wanted to make it look like theirs did because they did theirs in 3ds max and the final render looks something like this or the final output looks something like this so if you are a 3ds max user go check them out they have a great tutorial on building this reactor in 3ds max we're going to build it in moto so let's go ahead and start i'm going to face my negative z axis here like that i'm going to grab me a square or a cube and let's lay down a cube here, about like that. As you can see, it's got four segments in the Y and one in the X and Z. Let's pull this out. Okay. Now we have the basis of our middle segment or our body of our reactor. Let's go ahead and go to our vert vertices mode. And let's grab our bottom verts here. Select all the way through. Let's hit our R key for scale. Let's scale these out a little like this. Let's go to the next one, and let's just kind of shape these out a little bit. Let's scale these in, like so. And I'm just going to sculpt on this a little bit until I get kind of the look that I'm looking for. And we're getting there. That's getting there. This needs to come out a little bit, scale it out a little. Okay. Let's hit our tab key. And you can see, eh, not much, but we're getting there, right? We're, we're, we're getting there. So let's go ahead and select our bottom polygon and delete it. That way we'll hold our hard edge on the bottom there. Now you can see our shape starting to come into play. So now all we need to do is brace this up. Okay. So let's go ahead and run a loop slice with Alt-C, count of two, symmetry. Right up through here. I'm not going to park it real close to the edge. Just about like right there. Then I'm going to run two loop sizes, just like before, up this way. Now I'm going to run one around the top, but I'm going to make it count of one, mode free. And we're going to place it close up here like that. And then when we hit the tab key, you can see we're starting to get our shape here. And this, I can fix this here. This is a little bit off in the back. It looks like a little bit curved there. And that's something I can go in and tweak on later. Okay. So now we have our beginning shape of our body there. Let's go ahead and run a loop slice up the middle. Let's count of one. 50% position. Because I want it to go right up the middle. And click. And there's that. Okay. Let's go to our vert mode. Let's grab these verts on the top in the middle here like this all the way through. Let's hit the W key. And let's bring this up a little. Like so. And now it looks like we have the beginnings of our body, the reactor. So let's go ahead 
and make one more thing in this video before we go on to our next video because I'm going to take these in small short segments instead of really long chunks okay so next we're going to make our little rings here up top so that's simple enough let's go to a new mesh let's get a cylinder let's go ahead and draw out a cylinder I'm going to make it about 24 sides so it's nice and round make it thick like that polygon mode select the top select the bottom B key to bevel click to activate let's bevel it in on the X with the red handle pretty close here spacebar drop our tool let's go ahead and right click select bridge click now we have this little ring let's go to our edge tool double click our that edge double click that edge hit the B key for bevel and let's bevel the edges in like that right there there we go. Now when I hit the tab key, you can see we got a nice sharp corner there. We can try the same thing with this one. Instead of running loop slices, we can try to bevel these with a round level of one. There we go. Now we got a nice disc. Nice sharp disc. Let's go ahead and move this into place. I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees on the Z. And let's go to our front view, hit our W key, and let's line this up roughly, like so. Go back to perspective, take it right back in like that. And there we go. There's our first middle one. Now we can do make another one from scratch, or we can go to polygon mode and double click it. Command C, Command V, W to move, pull it over. Hit the R key to scale it. Like so. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. That's not looking too bad. Move it out a little. Like so. Alright, now let's double click that one. Command C, Command V, W to move. Zip Rooney over to the other side. Okay, now that's looking okay. Now we have our three rings, as you can see over here in our picture. Now if we want to, we can go ahead and, and turn off our wireframe just to have a look. Okay. So if we want to, we can go ahead and color these the same as our picture if we want to. So I'll select this mesh. I'm going to rename it to body. I'm going to select the mesh with our rings in it and name it rings. Okay, let's select our body, polygon mode. Let's select our body there. Let's hit let's give it a material. Our color is gonna be let's select our little oh, I'm gonna select the same green color. Say okay. We'll call this body. Say okay. Now our body is kind of that greenish color. If you want to change the color, go into render under your body material, select the material, go to properties, and you can lighten it up. Like that. Okay. Let's select our ring mesh. Let's select the rings we want. Let's select our image again so I can see what color here. Okay, let's assign our rings and material. We're gonna call them rings. And we'll make these a purple. A darker purple like that. And that's maybe a little bit dark for my blood, so let's go ahead and select our rings material. Let's make it a little lighter. Like so. Now, as you can see, we have the beginnings. I still need to go up and fix this here which probably won't be much of a problem we'll do it like that and there we go now we have that nice little sh sharp bend there in the back that comes down and out okay so there is our first little beginning parts here